Any fixed wing or rotary wing aircraft that is flown by an armed service, whether legitimate or rebellious, falls under the definition of a military aircraft. Aircraft have been a fundamental part of military power since the mid 20th century. In today's video, we're going to discuss the top 10 military spy planes in the world. Let's get into it. At number one, we have the Northrop Grumman B-2 Spirit. The primary long-range strike bomber in our country, the B-2 Spirit, first took to the skies on July 17, 1979. The Northrop Grumman B-2, a renowned aircraft and engineering wonder, marked a major advance in technology and American air power. The B-2 is still performing, inspiring people, and paving the path forward. The B-2 is 69 feet long, 17 feet high, and has a wingspan of 172 feet, half the length of a football field. A B-2 can carry a payload of 20 tons and travel 6,000 nautical miles without refueling and 10,000 nautical miles with only one refueling. It can reach any point in the world within hours. The B-2 gets the red carpet treatment whenever Hollywood requires a mega bomber to make an appearance and stave off an extraterrestrial or big monster invasion. At number two, we have the SR-71 Blackbird. The world's fastest operational aircraft, the Blackbird was introduced by Lockheed Martin in 1964. What the designers accomplished with the meager computing power available is nothing short of a miracle by today's technological standards. In an odd turn of events, the Soviet Union indirectly provided the new titanium for the Blackbird airframe, even though the SR-71 was created to spy on another country. No other aircraft has ever been able to surpass the SR-71's continuous flight speed record of Mach 3.3, set in 1976. Despite rumors that it once reached Mach 3.5 while performing operational duties over Libya, it was entirely dependent on speed to escape interceptions because it lacked defensive qualities. The SR-71 pilots would simply speed up to outrun the missile if they were shot at. Since SR-71 pilot Robert Helt achieved the absolute height record of 85,069 feet, no other air-breathing aircraft has soared higher. At 3 is RQ-4 Global Hawk. The RQ-4 Global Hawk is a high-altitude, long-endurance, remotely piloted aircraft with an integrated sensor suite that offers worldwide intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance ISR, capability in all weather conditions day or night. In 1995, Global Hawk was first introduced as an advanced concept technology demonstration. It was found that the technology has military applications and offered warfighters an evolving high altitude, long endurance ISR capability. Since November 2001, the Global Hawk has been operationally deployed to support overseas contingency operations. The letters R and Q in the name RQ-4 stand for reconnaissance, and unmanned aircraft systems, respectively, as defined by the Department of Defense. The Artemis aircraft is our number four. This may be the only intriguing fact about the SLS that's well recognized. About 15% more thrust will be produced by the SLS used for Artemis I than by the Saturn V rocket that launched the Apollo astronauts to the moon. In the 1960s, the Soviet Union did develop a more potent rocket, but none of its test launches were successful. After launch, SLS will overtake Elon Musk's Starship and the SpaceX Falcon Heavy as the most potent rocket flying. However, if Musk's Starship lives up to its promise, it may reclaim that distinction in a few years. Making space for astronauts to visit the moon again is Artemis One's main objective. Everything NASA learns from Artemis will inform plans for the first expeditions to Mars in the 2030s. Next is the U-2. The U-2 was designed by Lockheed's top engineer, Kelly Johnson. The U-2, which is made of aluminum and is only permitted to fly at subsonic speeds, can cruise for a long time at an altitude of 70,000 feet, 21,000 meters, with a payload weighing up to 3,000 pounds, 1,350 kilograms. The aircraft's airframe was increased by more than one-third over the initial size in the late 1960s, giving it a 104-foot wingspan and a fuselage length of 63 feet, 19 meters. The U.S. Air Force, USAF, and Central Intelligence Agency, CIA, initially employed the aircraft to photograph locations deep inside the territory of the Soviet Union, China, and other Cold War adversaries. 
sample the upper atmosphere for signs of nuclear weapon tests, and monitor electronic transmissions. The U-2 has been employed for battlefield reconnaissance and surveillance in various conflicts and tense regions where the United States has been involved since the Vietnam War in the 1960s. At 6 is the F-35 Lightning II. The F-16 Fighting Falcon and A-10 Thunderbolt II, which have served as the main fighter aircraft for the U.S. Air Force for more than 20 years, will be replaced and it will bring with it an improved capacity to survive in the sophisticated threat environment in which it was meant to operate. The F-35A will offer next-generation stealth, improved situational awareness, and decreased vulnerability for the United States and its allies because of its aerodynamic performance and cutting-edge integrated avionics. The F-35 is designed to provide the pilot with unsurpassed situational awareness, positive target identification, and precision strike in all weather conditions. Mission systems integration and outstanding over-the-nose visibility features are designed to dramatically enhance pilot performance. Number 7 is the P-3 Orion. There is no better airborne hunter than the P-3 Orion. Over more than 50 years of service from patrols around the clock during the Cold War to the Cuban Missile Crisis to its current role as the protector of the seas, it has acquired a reputation as the best maritime patrol aircraft. The P-3 is used for a variety of missions, including submarine hunting, overland peacekeeping, and surveillance, targeting strike points on the ground and relaying real-time video surveillance, scouting ahead of ground convoys, and warning off potential dangers, protecting shipping lanes and deterring pirates, thwarting drug smuggling attempts, preventing illegal immigration, and performing anti-terrorism missions. Number 8 is the MQ-1B Predator. In response to a Department of Defense request, the Predator system was created to offer the warfighters continual intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance data together with a strike capability. The U.S. Air Force was chosen by the Secretary of Defense in April 1996 to operate the RQ-1 Predator system. With the inclusion of the AGM-114 Hellfire missiles, the designation of RQ-1 was changed to MQ-1 in 2002, enabling response against targets for intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance, close air support, and interdiction. On August 2011, the Predator surpassed 1 million hours of total development, testing, training, and combat, a significant accomplishment for the U.S. Air Force. A hard surface runway measuring 5,000 by 75 feet, 1,524 by 23 meters, can be used by the Predator while maintaining an unobstructed line of sight to the antenna of the ground data terminal. At 9 is the E-3 Sentry. The E-3 Sentry is an Airborne Warning and Control System, or AWACS, aircraft equipped with platform for surveillance, target recognition, and tracking under integrated command and control battle management. The aircraft gives the Joint Air Operations Center a real-time depiction of the battle space. In the course of joint, allied, and coalition operations, E-3 Sentry provides situational awareness of friendly, neutral, and hostile activity, command and control over a designated area of responsibility, battle management of theater forces, all-weather surveillance of the battle space, and early warning of enemy actions. A spinning radar dome is added to a modified Boeing 707-707 320 commercial aircraft to create the E-3 Sentry. The dome is suspended 11 feet, 3.3 meters, above the fuselage by two struts and has a diameter of 30 feet, 9.1 meters, and a thickness of 6 feet, 1.8 meters. It has a radar subsystem that enables surveillance over land or ocean from the surface of the Earth up into the stratosphere. Last on the list is the Boeing P-8 Poseidon. The Boeing P-8 is truly a multi-mission maritime patrol aircraft, excelling at anti-submarine warfare, anti-surface warfare intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance, and search and rescue. The P-8 can travel farther and faster by flying higher, 41,000 feet, 490 knots, when looking for submarines, surface vessels, or survivors during search and rescue missions. Shorter transit periods minimize the size of the area of probability. P-8 has previously demonstrated its capabilities in support of humanitarian and search-and-rescue missions and is also designed for low-altitude missions. With more than 150 operational aircraft, the P-8 is a tried-and-true system that has flown more than 450,000 hours without an accident all over the world. So, there you have it, everything you need to know about the top 10 military spy planes. If you enjoyed this video, 
Don't forget to like and hit the subscribe button to be notified of new videos.